What's good, y'all? Good morning. It's old school, that young dude with more wisdom than an old fool. CO2 square E T L C, you know what be. And I'm back with another beat. I found this sample that I've been looking for for years now. I've been wanting to sample this song I found on this TV station. And it only comes on every blue moon. And I was like, man, I tried to go on Google and do the voice thing. Try to try to YouTube it and to no to no no prevail you know what I'm saying so this morning I'm like man I'm gonna find it so I went on YouTube I went on the Google again did the voice deal that didn't work went on YouTube just typed in the TV show and the commercials and I just went through and went through and went through I was getting tired I was about to give up I just got off of work maybe like an hour or so ago, so but I found it. I finally found it. And so this is the original this is the original uh clip. It was actually a bunch of it was on the what do they call that a collage with a bunch of different commercials where I just uh I cut it and so this is this is the original right here. If I can get it to Okay. Okay. So this is the original. It's just a bunch of different commercials, right? French Chef Classics, Julia Child. See the master at work. Next on Create. So anyway, yeah, what you just heard is uh, the one I wanted. There's a bunch of other commercials in that, but that's the one I wanted. So far, all I did was chopped it from the rest of them. And um, I slowed it down. So this right here is what I got so far. Now that I slowed it down, I gotta um, make it loop again. So, that's what I'm doing right now. I think I got a loop now. Let's see. Let's see. Yep, that's it. So what I want to do, I kind of want to chop it up, but I'm not sure I'm going to do that. I want some horns in it. Think about slowing it down a little bit more. I might just do the, might just do the drums now. Look for my horns afterwards. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
plug the keyboard back in. Think about making it slow down. Something happened to my keyboard. So I think I'm like. Throw my horns in there too. So, I don't know. Maybe I maybe I put my drums in first because it's pretty. Let's see. Yeah, this is way faster than what I was talking about. Uh, let me just go ahead and. That might be it right there. Just a little bit slower. Let me see. That might be the one. Let me try to uh, loop it better.
got it, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just lay down. I may change the the kicks and the everything later on, but I just want to get the the basis of it and then come back. <laughs> That ride, that high hat ride, I'm gonna throw that in there. See what that be like. I'm gonna have to go back and quantize my uh, kick, but. Yeah. I'm gonna throw this ride in here.
it sounds on point for the most part, but it's still parts that's not. So what I'm going to attempt to do is try to find the BPM of the actual sample now. And then probably go back and re-record everything. I just did, so. I got to try to remember how, how to do that. Let's see. I think I can do it from piano roll. so simple is any other day I probably would have it let me see I think it might be a graphic editor maybe no no Project tempo. That's project tempo. Okay, that's what that was. It ain't gonna do that. So let me. Ah, uh, I didn't know that. Ah. Uh, it won't let me go back. Oh. Why? <sighs> Not that bad. I just had the perfect tempo. This is why you constantly say. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, I can't believe that. Huh? Um, Everything is going back to normal except for the speed that I had it at. Okay. Still need to find out the tempo anyway. So, I guess I'll open this back up. Mm, auto detect tempo. Booyah. It's another way to get here, but anyway. So, they're saying they think it's about 135.11. That's kind of fast. Well, I guess it's not really slow. Slow of a beat. Ah, 
gonna just go with it. Let's see. 113. So let's play. You said 113. Should match up, right? Restretch all channels now. No. Okay, maybe I wanted to do that. So hip-hop tracks is around 70 to 90. You're doing old school. If you're doing trap, it's like in the hundreds. So I'm going to just try to be bring the, the tempo of the whole track, just the whole song, bring it down to like 90 and see what that do. Yes. Okay, I'm about to go ahead and take all this off. Reason why I wanted to get the BPM just right is because now if I go in and like you can, I can fill in, I can have little fillers. Like if I type, if I hit uh, the hi hat, I can hit fill each two steps or fill each four steps and then they'll match because the BPM match. So to make sure I got it right, let's go ahead and try that and see. Or I could just hit play and turn the metronome on, I guess. But. Try to fill in each four steps. Maybe because I restretch it, but it don't sound like it. I don't know, it don't sound like it's supposed to to me. Okay, now let's Okay, last time I uh after I changed the BPM or changed the tempo, I I I told it to stretch the beat, stretch the sample. So this time I'm not going to I just did the same thing, but I'm not stretching the sample. Let's see how it sounds. I'm gonna got the metronome on this time too, so let's see if we off or not. sound chick monkish is because the sample got sped up so whatever BPM it was on it definitely wasn't 113 like the like the computer estimated so I guess I just gotta kind of figure it out myself Sample, get 
the sample sound normal. Okay. I could click click tempo and just try to keep up with the sample. But usually when I do that it still be off. So I think my best bet is just to go by ear. See if I stretch it, it'll still sound the same. Like the speed will change, but the pitch won't. You see how the pitch just changed? It's because, yeah. That sound more on beat, but uh, maybe that's maybe that's all right like it is. Let's see again. I'm gonna have to listen to it a few times, so I'm gonna go ahead and just record that. And if I decide I want it to be slower, I guess I can go. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna just do that. Oh, uh, first I gotta get the loop back right because I changed the time. So. <laughs>
loop is back. Go ahead and throw the kick in the snare room. What I want to do to double check something too, I'm going to fill in my snare with the, the automatic option or whatever. Fill in each eight. See how that do. Take out every other one. Just to see if it really is on beat and it's not just me just thinking it's on beat. So. See that sound. <laughs> So it's pretty much on beat. I'm gonna go ahead and put my kick in. I'm gonna switch up the snare a little bit too.
yeah, and I'ma throw that, that ride in, the hi hat ride in. If I can't find them horns now about some whistling too.
I gotta find out what key this is in. Cause the horns is right here. I just gotta find out what key. Since all my keys aren't working, I'm going to just hit one key to the tune and then I'll move the octaves where it need to go or the, the note or whatever. Turn it down so I can. So I got the rhythm part down. know if that's the right that's the right pitch either but let me just get everything in place first let's see it sounds pretty pretty dope to me so far Thank you. 
I'm just gonna copy what I got and then go down. Let's see, Let's see how far I gotta go down. <clears throat> but the horns might just be on the chorus part anyway, you know what I'm saying? Give it that transition, that bridge. Let's see. Let's copy a little bit so. Dun, dun, dun. 
I think it's backwards now. One, two, three. Ah,
So I think now I'm about to uh I'm about to dub the horns. So same exact thing, just a di different octave. See how that sound. Y'all don't know how long I've been waiting to do this song, like it's been a couple years now. Let's see. Let's go down an octave, see how that sound. Screw it, I'm gonna do a third octave.
so now, probably the last thing I'm gonna do for now, so I need to get in the bed. Got other stuff to do today, but um, probably gonna try to bring that bass out. Redo the bass so I can turn the bass up. probably go into my dirty south well now nah, I'm gonna go into my uh my west coast sound pack I got Listen to it, see if we can find a key. Forgot I was going to do the snare, the, fix the snare a little bit too. Add on to it anyway.
pretty much it for now. I might mess around with it later on, but this is pretty much it. Thank y'all for tuning in and checking me out. And just stay tuned. Hope everybody have a beautiful, blessed, prosperous day. And you're prolific in all your ways. Deuces.